Hi all, welcome to Learn Code Repeat. So today is the day one of the October challenge. The name of the problem is number of recent calls. Let's look into the problem. So the problem states you have a recent counter class which counts the number of recent requests within a certain time frame. Implement the recent counter class. The recent counter initializes the counter with zero recent request. Int ping int of t adds a new request at time t where t represents some time in milliseconds and returns the number of requests that has happened in the past 3000 milliseconds including the new request. Specifically return the number of requests that have happened in the inclusive range t minus 3000 comma t. So this statement is important. So what this class does is it initializes the counter with zero recent request and this method accepts a request with the millisecond value and it returns the number of requests between t minus 3000 till t that means anything that is less than t minus 3000 should be discarded okay that should not be considered it is guaranteed that every call to ping uses a strictly larger value of t than the previous call so it is in ascending order right every t will be greater than the previous t before looking at the example let's look at the constraint the constraint says t is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 10 raised to 9. So the value of t can be between this range. Each test case will call ping with strictly increasing value of t. At most 10 raised to 4 calls will be made to ping. So there is a sufficiently large amount of call that is being made at right? 10 raised to 4. So in the example it says uh, first the recent counter is initialized and then ping is called with 1. Okay. So when it's initialized at that time it's 0 then ping is called with 1 so since it's uh, between the range of uh, 1 to 3000 right this will return 1 this will return 1 comma 100 right so that's the size of 2 so it will return the size as 2 okay so here the return size is 2 then 3001 right now if you see 3001 the range should be t minus 3000 okay so 3001 minus 3000 is 1 so that is 1 comma 3001 so whatever comes between 1 comma 3001 that should be included okay so 1 to 3001 is 3 size so the size is 3 then 3002 is again 3002 minus 3000 is 2 so 2 comma 3002 so that will be this 3 so again it will return 3 okay so here in this case the one initial one was not included only the last three was included now if you observe here what they have mentioned is there can be 10 raised to 4 calls to the ping method right so in such cases where you know that the number of calls and uh, whatever data structure you use to store the ping right that data structure will grow right so we have to see whether we can clear the contents of the data structure if there is a conditional statement right uh, basically if there is a range beyond which we don't need to show the values in the data structure right? that way it will be much more efficient so here we know that uh, it is only 3000 milliseconds data that we need to store right so whatever is in that range that we need to show that is current t value minus 3000 whatever goes beyond that range right uh, that means whatever is less than t minus 3000 that can be discarded because we know that t is increasing right since t is increasing that is given so whatever is next value will be greater than the current value so obviously we can remove any older entry that is present which is less than t minus 3000 right so in this example we can safely remove one from our data structure whatever we are using right the second observation that we can see is uh, the values are coming in a certain order right and we are keeping the latest entry and we are removing the oldest entry right so what is this order right this is nothing but a FIFA order right first in and the first is getting out right first in first out is the order provided there is a conditional statement of uh, whatever we are removing should be less than t minus 3000 right so this can be simply solved using a queue so let's see so first we'll declare a queue of integer since it's an int value I'll initialize my queue here. I'm using the linked list class to declare the queue. Now, once I'm in the ping method, I can first add the current t value in the queue. 
now first we'll remove all the elements that are less than t minus 3000 right so that can be more than one element right so we'll check what is the oldest entry okay so what is at the top of the queue so q dot peak will give me that value if that element is less than t minus 3000 in that case i need to do a removal so q dot pole will remove that entry if it is less than t minus 3000 if it is greater than or equal to t minus 3000 then the while loop will break right so in that case whatever is there now in the queue is uh, in the range of t minus 3000 till t right and that is both inclusive right so at this point we can safely return the value of the queue dot size so that will be the number of elements that is there in the range of t minus 3000 till t both inclusive so let's run this code this is accepted let's submit this and the solution is accepted so the complexity of this algorithm will be since we are using space which is a q that is the additional space that we are using and at the max in the q we will be storing only 3000 elements so the space complexity will be o of 3000 similarly here the while loop will go only till 3000 right because at the max there will be only 3000 elements so in the worst case scenario there will be only 3000 times it will go through the loop so time complexity will be also o of 3000 now 3000 is a constant right they have given that it will be only 3000 so we can say that both space and time is constant which is o of 1 okay so that's it for this video hope you like the video thank you